Here we have a 2006 BMW 320 diesel SC Saloon in black. Starts with the offside front tyre. Tread depth there looks like a fairly new tyre, so you're easily 6mm and over of tread there. Offside front tyre, you can see there is some minor little curve marks around the alloy in certain places. Of course, just needs a good clean as well, but there is curbing around the majority of the alloy, so definitely to require a refurb there. Looking down at the offside of the bodywork, now taking a good look for any sign of any dinks or any dents, I personally cannot spot either. Looking at the offside front arch, again fairly clean, no signs of any rust damage, etc. There's a couple of scratches on the driver's mirror, so going to require mop and polish there. Driver's door, again, just the odd one or two light scratches, being black, it does tend to show everything. Um, so just the odd one or two light scratches, as you can see, going down in the doors and around the door handle. A couple of chips in the door edge may require some touchings. Door sills, just one or two light scratches there. No dinks or dents at all to the roof. Rear passenger door, again, just the odd one or two light scratches. A little bit of chips in the paintwork, looks like they've had some paint to them, as you can see, they do stand out. Rear door edge is okay. Rear quarter, rear arch, nothing to report there. Rear tyre, again, easily a good 5 to 6 millimetres of tread. And looking at the rear alloy. Again, you've got some curbing around the majority of the alloy, so again, going to require a refurb to this alloy. Move around to the rear end of the car. Again, you do have rear parking sensors. The paint on the sensors has just started to discolour. There's a couple of light scratches on the loading bay of the vehicle. A little bit hard to see on the video. And there's quite a few light scratches dotted around the boot as well. So a good mop and polish to the rear end of the car. No signs of any serious damage though. And there is a slight, very slight sort of crack in the rear bump. I've just spotted, as you can see, just a very deep scratch. We can just see it's borderline a crack in the bumper. Um, also a slight raise in the bumper there. You can see it's slightly raised out of the bumper, so obviously be wary of those two. Inside the boot, just needs a bit of a valet, but uh, no signs of any damage etc in there. Looking at the near side rear tyre, once again a good 5mm of tread. Looking at the near side rear alloy, again we've got some curbing to the alloy, so once again going to require a refurb. And then looking down the near side of the vehicle, I've already spotted two small um, dinks in the rear, so you've got one here and then one just above it as well. Um, there's also a dink in the rear door here as well, so three dinks in the bodywork. You can see there is one there, slightly heavier one there as well. So quite a few dinks just near the rear passenger door, as well as some bodywork scratches and a couple of touchings to the paint. But this one's more of a dent, sorry, so it is quite heavy actually, as you can see on the rear door. Quite clearly stands out. And then bodywork scratches going down both the doors on the mirrors as well. You can see again it looks like it's had some bit of paint here but it does stand out. A couple of scratches move around the front arch and easily a good 5-6 millimetres of tread on the front tyre. So plenty of tread on all four tyres and then quite heavily curbed on the front alloy here. So once again going to require a refurb. Move around to the front end of the vehicle. Scratches on the front quarter. Quite a few stone chips on the front end of the vehicle. So again, definitely require a bit of paint. And then there's quite a large scuff mark on the offside front quarter, as you can see. It's taking all the paint off around here. As you can see, the paint looks a bit dodgy as well, so it's going to need a respray. And then just a couple of stone chips on the bonnet of the vehicle. Take a look at the interior. Yeah, I've got the cloth and leather, so it's like the half leather interior. A little bit dirty, no sign of any damage, just requires a good valet. Butt pack, etc. Back of the seats are fine. Carpets are lovely and tidy. In the driver's seat. Now you do have automatic headlights and your rain sensitive wipers there as well. A little bit of wearing on the bolster, as you can see. Again, it's just age related really. And the front passenger seat, again, just a slight bit of wearing. Stepping inside the vehicle itself. Dashboard etc is tidy, centre console etc is fine, steering wheel's got some signs of age but nothing too serious. Um, we do have two sets of keys with the vehicle which is great. And just getting the car started. As you can see starts perfectly fine with no issues at all there. Quarter tank of diesel which is always nice. And as we can see with mileage 114,962 miles on the clock. 
No serious symbols on the dash at all that you have to be wary of. CD and radio. No issues there. Blowers work fine. Air conditioning comes on lovely and cold as well. Manual box on this one. And taking a look at your V5. As you can see, you've got two owners on the vehicle. If you just try and focus in there. So it is the two owners on the car. MOT certificate, we are looking at expiry date of May 20th, 2016. No advisories in there either, so it's brilliant. And the service history, now this is the nice bit, guys. We've got full BMW service history. Yeah, that's right, full BMW history with Ryrick Shrewsbury, which is with us here. So 1928, as you can see, there's loads 37, 51, 61, 74, 81, 100. 104, 108, 112. So you can see it's got bags of service history, which is really nice for a car with this mileage. As you can see, mileage wise, it hasn't been done that recently either. That's great, guys. That's the 2006 BMW 320D SE Saloon in Black.